Hi, Amber. Hi, Joel. Jennifer Castaneda says her 11-year-old son already has challenges in school due to his autism and his Tourette's, but his frequent bullying is really taking him over the edge. The 11-year-old boy is a fifth grader at J.R. Ingram Elementary, and since he started attending in August, his mother says her son has been bullied incessantly by another student. Castaneda says despite reaching out to Lee County school officials, they've hardly intervened, and the mother is urging students who are getting bullied like her son to speak up and for parents to get involved. I can't even imagine going through what my son goes through on a daily basis. I'm anxious all the time walking on eggshells having to send him to school. He's the one having to live through what he's going through on a daily basis. And it, it, it's not okay at all whatsoever. So just just to be aware, just to be show concern be 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 a friend be have communication every day with your kids you don't know what they go through they go through a lot bullying being a very timely issue in our area just last week wake county schools amended their bullying policy broadening it for, broadening it for more forms of attack and exclusion and here in cumberland county the district received a five million dollar grant earlier this month to offer specialized mental health support to students lee county schools issued a statement saying we take all reports of bullying very seriously and follow the appropriate protocol to provide a safe learning environment for our students school and district staff have met and spoken with the mother on multiple occasions. We have worked closely with her to ensure her concerns are addressed each time an incident is reported. Lee County Schools went on to say that the incident has been investigated and that the school has taken appropriate action. Reporting live, Monique John, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.